Hello everybody, Michael here, and welcome to my Guild Wars Prophecies Harmo Remaster number 17, Thirsty River. In this mission run, I'll be using my standard hero setup here, as you've seen, and I'll be using a melee type of a build. My elite will strip enchantments, as well as this uh, disenchantment ritual. It's aimed to disable Aegis. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly or not. It's an enchantment that the monks use that uh, adds on 50% blocking and for this mission I don't really need two hex removals so I'll remove cure hex we go reorganize everything a little bit and I'll add in vigorous spirit as I'll be basically DPSing most of the time and with this setup I'll be ready as soon as you load up the mission basically just head uh, south according to this radar uh, you might encounter a couple of bugs you know, around this area, pop-ups or so. If you do encounter them, try to walk past them, as you don't really get any bonus for attacking them. Another thing that you want to keep in mind when you encounter these ranger-type bugs, uh, they will actually start to spit out traps. If they don't spit out traps, um, just go attacking them. If these do uh, start up trapping, use a flat bow or a long bow to interrupt them. They normally would spawn here. So prepare yourself. Just get your body just poking in and out just to trigger the, the trap so you don't stack up. You definitely need um, men condition and men body and soul as you'll be blinded multiple times in this mission due to this ranger skill called throw dirt. Very annoying and very nasty in uh, harmful missions. Especially if you're melee. Oh goody. I could have pulled them all, but I don't have time to do that. Okay, if you kill sand giants, they'll give you morale, but this one's always blocking your path. So you might as well uh, beat them to death. He'll give you back any conditions you spam at him, so save uh, Twisting Fangs at the ending. You want to finish him off, like so. Okay, if you as you continue the path, you'll encounter a uh, NPC called Ghostly Hero. Talk to him, and he'll start the clip, and he'll explain a little brief story. I'm assuming everyone has heard the story, so I'm gonna fast forward this, the skip it part. Okay, if the Ghost Hero dies at all in this mission, the mission will end. So, like any other missions we've encountered you have to make sure he doesn't die and a chance of him not dying is actually telling him to just stay here like I instructed him to okay start with this mob and proceed like this very straightforward encase yourself with a uh, vital weapon and bigger spirit and destroy the warrior first if he if the mesmers cast a chaotic storm here just flag him out, out of harm's way. Your triple writ shouldn't really be uh, affected too much because they're all writs. They're not really spells, most of them. It's just straightforward fighting here. This mission is actually very, very brief. It's the bonus that gets a little hairy. Another reason why I did not recommend bringing healing seed is that you get stripped a lot here. In hard mode, the necromancers, which aren't really shown here yet, uh, they can strip enchantments. 
So, Healing Seed would have been very great uh, in protecting the, the bonus. I'll talk more about that a little later. You definitely want to strip the, the priest. You don't want him to heal himself every time he casts a spell. Okay, you don't have to talk to the ghost. The ghost will automatically come after you've uh, cleared the area. Uh, and this mission is kind of like a PvP arena. The next, the first round will always have one on one. The second round will have one versus two. And the third one versus three. Basically, the six professions of prophecies. I normally would have uh, brought in Gorn here with me, as I did with my uh, first time I recorded with Hardmill on this, with the music track. So, flag your heroes here. Treat yourself as a tank, light a weapon, defense. If you tank it like like uh, like how I do, uh, the warriors majority of them should be here. The reason why I do this is not because I want the spirits to have an advantage, it's so my heroes don't get earthquaked. With this elite, uh, it's, you have to be very careful with your energy. If you go under 4, do not use a skill. You can still interrupt and uh, strip it without losing your ultimate, er, your elite, but... You want to keep this on at all times. Okay. This next mob. Normally, I would advise groups to wait until the two uh, two minutes up, so you won't be fighting a mob and then resurrected. But uh, when they're resurrected, they actually have um, death penalty, so it doesn't really matter. Just kill, and they'll drop bodies for you. So. These are the necromancers I was talking about. They can strip enchantments. Like right here. The healing isn't really that big of a factor here when you're fighting against them. It's more about positioning and uh, blind removal, actually, that's true. It blinds so much in this mission. Alright, when the coast is clear, go straight for the monk. Thank you for warping there for me to kill you. Sorry, this time might be a little long. I'm kind of uh, taking my time with this mission. Okay, after you clear the second room, uh, the bonus is actually very, very close by. You don't really have to do anything. You just have to kill everything around you very quickly before the ghost disappears. He will disappear though, like um, how he says in this little floating text. Uh, I don't remember what time it is, but it's pretty long, like about. 10 minutes or so but you basically kill everybody within like 3 or 4 minutes so. okay uh, hold down your left alt to 
to make your NPC appear. Click on him, left click. Click on Vital Weapon. Healing Breeze. Tell your hero to stay here. Approach the NPC first. Like so. And you want to kill this mob. Ignore everything else on the left side. Keep an eye on the, on the NPC as you'll mostly get mowed down. After the necromancers have used their rounds of uh, AOE and armor remove armor ignoring skills, they'll be open for your attack. So just swarm them over, and the bonus is secured. Actually, that's your that's it. You have to kill this mob and this mob and the bonus will definitely be secured the hard part is when people start capping capping elites now which elite do I want stuff like that oh I want the ranger boss last so I have to kill one of the first two bosses make sure your team knows what, what the hell they want first otherwise you would completely throw off the bonus because if you do not kill this group and that group first they'll basically come and uh knock out the bonus and the bonus is basically kill everything before uh, you know, he's gone that's it very simple mission sorry I haven't had the time to record this I know I should have been able to record this within uh, you know, the first two days after um, after I just finished the Lonely Reach but I've been a little lazy and that League of Legends game has sucked me in. <laughs> so, that's why I said Ultimate before. That's a good game. Okay. Should you resurrect, they'll be lined up for you. Aimful Bond. And then flag them into the right position. Like so. So the spirits can aim. And just summon the spirits be, uh, behind you and they'll do the work for you okay as you get closer turn on your shield go sure for the monk why is this locked and not the other one? It's weird. Okay, well, I didn't notice that. But wow. Yeah. When you get the chance and it's safe, always go straight for the for the priest. In case uh, you know bad luck or you never get a chance again, just go straight for the monk. He's dead. Who is that back? Oh, damn it. Uh, bad luck today. Yeah, once you strip him, he drops like a fly. Summon another uh, spirit wall around at this point, like so, and pull. You can pull as many as you want, they're all range. Let them all come to you. Makes the hex much easier. Okay, after that's done, watch out for the throw dirt again. When you're in position, kill the priest. Then kill the monk boss. Aim 
April Bond, Anguish, check my time, 14 minutes, a little bit slow, but it's okay. And we'll arrive again back to Augury Rock. That should uh, include. That should be our page nine. Uh, and page eleven, which is uh, Augury Rock, actually the mission is called. Uh, and you fight your clone here. I'll do that actually right now. See you guys uh, in a little bit.